Last week, I wrote about how I did an impromptu product demo of TCL's yet-to-be-released AR glasses at the Hong Kong airport. The meeting was very last minute, as TCL staff and I only realized we would overlap at the Hong Kong airport briefly the night before. I was en route to San Jose for a Samsung event, and they were returning to Shenzhen from Las Vegas. That wasn't the only impromptu smart eyewear demo at an airport I attended that trip. After I finished the Samsung event, as I was flying to Los Angeles from San Francisco International Airport, I met Bobek Tavingar, co-founder of Brilliant Labs, who showed me his company's upcoming product, Frame. Seated just outside United Airlines' check-in counter at SFO, Tavingar, who's based in Singapore, but was in the Bay Area for meetings, showed me a prototype of Frame, and I was amazed by how small it looked, especially compared to TCL's Ray Neo X2, which I am already testing. It actually looks as thin as the marketing render image. Considering Frame can do a lot of the same things as TCL's glasses, this is impressive. Tavingar, who used to work at Apple as a program lead, told me his current team made it a priority to keep the eyewear thin, lightweight and normal looking. Frame has a neural engine CPU that can run multiple generative AI models at the same time, including, Noah, an always-on digital voice assistant that serves as the core way to interact with the glasses. Tavingar said his vision for Frame is a seamless and non-intrusive way to use AI. Instead of needing to stare at a physical screen, or project graphics onto a palm like the Humane AI pin, Frame will just project the visual in front of your face through the lenses, sort of like the heads-up display of Iron Man's helmet in the Marvel movies. The tech behind the display is a geometric prism optic, and Tavingar said it is able to project not just text but also graphics and images. I have to be clear that the prototype model I tested was not ready to run most of the features that Tavingar promises will be available for Frame, such as real-time speech recognition, translation, or the ability to scan a page full of words and get a summarized version. Given that these technologies are running perfectly fine on a phone, Samsung's new S24 phones, as a matter of fact, it doesn't seem far-fetched they could run on a pair or silicon-powered glasses. The breakthrough is in the weight. Frame weighs only 39 grams, a far cry from TCL Ray Neo X2's 120 grams. Those familiar with Brilliant Labs perhaps won't be as surprised by Frame's sleek style. The company launched a year ago a monocle, a pocket-sized AR device that was built like, well, a classic monocle eyewear. The circular device attached to the wearer's glasses, and can project text onto the real world. While Frame shares some ancestry with Monocle, Tavingar said it's a completely new product. Frame is entirely new, a step forward, he told me.